What's up, everybody? We are back with our fourth podcast. We're very excited about it. And we have a special guest. Would you like to introduce the guest, Brookie Girl, or would you like me to do it? I can do it. Go ahead. This is our mother. Her name is Claudine. Hi. My dad's wife. And we're so excited to have her. She was one of the most requested guests for this podcast, so we knew we had to deliver for you guys. And I have a lot of questions that you guys wanted to know. So it's going to be really fun. We're going to get all the questions out of mom today. A lot of my YouTube subscribers think that my parents are divorced because my mom what? hates <laughs> coming in my videos. What? Oh my Anytime God, really? she's in my videos, she's like, cut me out. And I, I get questions all the time. I'm like, are your parents together? I'm like, yeah. Wait, wow. I've never yeah. gotten that question I've before. Never, I've yeah. never, kn- I never knew that. That's yep. interesting. That is yep. interesting. We're actually together. Uh, let me get myself in trouble right now. <laughs> Gonna be twenty eight years. Today. Wow! God. No, Did you're I right. Nail that. You're right. You see, well, I knew that. Twenty eight years. I knew that. And thirtieth wedding anniversary. Where are we all going? Italy. 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 Yep. Italy. You hear that, Dad? Yes, I heard it. It's happening. We're going. <laughs> I'm in. I'm there. I'm in too. Um. Okay. So let's just start off with the questions for Mom. Okay. So I'm ready. Did she always envision? having a big fam yes your whole life mm-hmm. and you made that come true yep after i had brandon who's the third yeah in the delivery room i knew i wasn't done R- you knew in that no moment? i always said i wanted three or four and then when i had brandon i just felt like i wasn't done right after i pushed him out kind of crazy because i was pretty satisfied you know but i'm gonna (laughs) and i say that (laughs) listen i'm gonna i'm gonna be dead honest here yes i i knew that my wife wanted a big family and so did i but in when you're like in the mix of it and you have three kids and you know you kind of like don't have two cents to rub together and you're like oh my god where's my next dollar come from how am i gonna do this are you thinking about your future to start thinking about number four in the delivery room of number three? <laughs> it's, it's, I, I don't know. Maybe it's normal. I don't want to say it's not normal, but anyway. And um, guess who number four was? Raise your hand, number four. Brookie girl. <laughs> you better watch the video and version. we got a bonus. Yeah. We got a bonus I have track. a question about that. And, uh, so we'll leave that alone for, the, for a few minutes. All right. Um, <laughs> what? I don't know what that meant either. Mom. I have questions. Go ask your question. Go ahead. This is the, I'm going to go with the first question. Go ahead. He wrote it on a paper. Wow. You're, this He's is really table. going back to the 70s. Don't look okay. at the question. It's supposed to be shocking. Written on a piece okay. of paper. On your first day of school in the sixth grade, <laughs> when you came home and your mother said, are there any cute boys in your class? Of course. Graham what did you that. say? Go. Yes. Who was the cute boy? But you just said Yes. I know there's more to this story. <laughs> and your mother said, well, who is that cute boy? And what did you say? Brian Mooney. <laughs> That's me, folks. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Can we can we tell them a little bit about how you guys started dating in sixth grade? Because people think that that's well, the Well, no, we didn't thing. start dating in sixth grade. We met seventh in sixth grade. grade. We started dating in seventh grade. Okay. S- yeah. Excuse me. Seventh grade. What happened was I went to that school my whole life. So I'm from Flushing originally. Queens and my wife who wasn't my wife at the time obviously came from College Point Queens so which is better no let's not even get into that okay <laughs> we're not gonna it's get gonna into that because my neighborhood is the best neighborhood in Queens There's okay no other neighborhood no, but then I yeah. moved to Flushing <laughs> for a little while so yes so you kind of like part it. of our no I did no I did like it. no it's a great she has friends from that neighborhood so, well still, from College today. Point also and from that neighborhood till uh-huh. this day. But I, you know, where, so she comes in in the sixth grade and here I am sitting there in the sixth grade. I'm like four foot seven. <laughs> and, you know, she spotted me and said, hey, I'm going to marry that guy one day. I don't know if she really that said that happen. to her mom, <laughs> but that's what I kind of like to. That did not Aww, happen. That's what he would like to imagine. Let him Can think that. Can I just that. feel that way? Unbelievable. <laughs> so Folks, I got yelled at a lot 
right before this started. Why does he have to talk so loud? Because we were testing the microphones mm-hmm. and everything. Just whatever. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Next question. Can you You're guys the explain? The no, no. I have <laughs> questions for later. That's the one I wanted to start with. Go ahead. Can you guys explain to us a little bit about what it's like to be not only married for almost 28 years, but have been dating since, what, 19, what, 1980-something? Um, we were young. It was, listen, we were together. Oh, we 1982. So 1982. So how many years is that? Can we but do we didn't math? stay dating. We didn't stay. Yeah, yeah, we didn't stay dating nonstop from that time. All right, so, so what was that like? What was it like? Being together for at such a young age, it was taking fun. some time apart, and then getting married. It was fun dating when we were kids because all we all we did was hang out. We went to school and hung there out. There was no. It was just chill. You yeah, didn't yeah. Have we to, went to the schoolyard and we all we had all the same friends and everybody yep. was just. We, we all were, hung out together. I yeah, just yeah, came up a with blast. a question on the spot. How is it like dating with like no like phones to like talk oh, to each other? We didn't know any question. better. And like, so well, didn't. like, how is it like then compared to now? Yeah, what do you? It's not that you guys are dating like like out like you with run down a new guy every the weekend, but like um, though, yeah, that you see in like us having relationships like always being on our phones and stuff. Then when you grew up being in a relationship, what do you feel and like? like phones, how would you make plans? Like, Oh, come meet here at 8 PM when it's like 8 AM. Like, like, was it better without <laughs> I mean, phones? Can, listen, was it worse? Let, let, I'm going to give you a quick rundown and I'll let my wife a little Claudine bit of both. give the rundown after. Okay. I look at it like this. When we went to school in the morning, there was like a trail. It all started at my wife's house. Then we would pick up Carla. Shout out to Carla. Mm-hmm. Then we would pick up, um, I forget. I think Barbara G and O. No, not Barbara. She went to St. Anne's. Um, anyway, there was a whole crew that we would walk to each other's houses and pick each other up, and then we would walk and to school together. And slowly get to school. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and yeah. you just knew that they were going to be at my corner at, let's say, like 820. Mm-hmm. And I was ready. At 820, they'd be at the corner. Bam, I'd run to the corner. Go to the next person, pick them up, and then, then we. So that's how you got picked up for school. It wasn't like that hey, was I'm junior on my high way. though. Not hey, um, I'm here. That's yeah, so that was weird because high. now it wasn't I, like you could watch their location. As I was pulling just up gonna no. say that no. every no. time I'm being like, like if I know my friend is coming to pick me up, I look at their location to see if they're there, and then I get my stuff ready and leave. Yeah. No, none of that. No. Like making plans must have been so different. Yeah, it, it was. It was, but we all just always met at the schoolyard. No matter what we were so gonna do, we met at the schoolyard. That was your like I would rather base. that than social media. It's so much easier. Listen, we talked to each other face to face. We would go down to the park. We would laugh. We, there was never. We never, would laugh. What, what were you looking at? You weren't looking <laughs> you at your phone. You guys don't. No. <laughs> What? I, I, I missed something. He's like, we would go to the park, we we would laugh, and then we're like, because I, and I said, you, laugh. Guys no, guys you guys don't, don't laugh. You, you, you know, you we just don't laugh. Phones. No, I, no laughing at all. <laughs> Whenever I'm oh, with my friends, I make it. everyone put their phone down for an hour so we can be real human beings. And do you really do that? I my life. I think that's awesome because mm-hmm. that's how we did it. We, I say, no phone hour, no phone hour, and then we put our phones in the corner. We wouldn't, the worst thing, the, the last place we ever wanted to be was home. <laughs> video games no yeah, you didn't have it, it anything was, to do at home I nothing ha- i had stuff you to would do. go and no, you play see, with rocks outside if you were home no no you see i had nothing I my had wife something. had everything she had atari What's i had that? video games it she was like it was like, it was like the thing that she had money there. when she was young. <laughs> no i, I don't have oh money. so it was like a video like a no she's thing. like i had yeah, everything <laughs> I did. I was compared to him. Had yeah. a stereo, a radio. I had nothing. Records. But it's probably way more fun to be with your friends than be, yeah, alone. Yeah, I wanted to be with my friends. Yeah, exactly. But what was it like? Back to the first question, being in. I know you weren't in like a serious relationship in seventh grade, but no, we no, kind of we were. were. Okay, <laughs> so serious <laughs> relationship. <laughs> what is it like being in that without phones? I know it's all you guys knew, but. Do you feel like it caused – do you feel like phones cause drama in relationships these days more than – I think so. It would have, if that makes any sense. If we had phones? Yeah, like if you guys had phones. No, it probably would have been the same drama. Yeah? No. Yeah. Because I really, when it like, was – I don't listen, like see that. Like When it was us hanging out, there was nothing – It was just was no you guys hanging you. out. Yeah. The, or y- it, there was nothing like well, that. Well, like, okay, for example, the other day – 
from this random account, I get a, a tag in the comments that's like, why is your boyfriend liking this girl's Instagram picture? One, mm. she has like millions and mil- millions of like Instagram and followers. two, who cares? Two, I don't care, so why should you care? Three, it was literally just a picture of her face and like, I just, I just couldn't care less. No, yeah. I, I hate when people say that when they say I could care less. I know. Makes no sense. So but you could care less? Like, what do you, that even mean? But then? I couldn't care less. And I'm like, why are you trying to, like, make like make a fight? Like, it, it annoyed me so much. I can't even explain. But I feel like. Well, that's what they wanted to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, um, like, that stuff and also just, like, Snapchat with, like, nowadays I don't have any issues with that. But, like, I know, like, my friends have had. Yeah. In the past. It's just, like, such a toxic. Listen, it's in. It's literally another form it's of crazy. cheating was created. It was simple yeah. when we without, were kids, like without physical physically connection. Yeah, physical but like touching, you're not being loyal on your phone. No, not at all. It was simple. It was. It was just. You just knew where everyone was gonna be. You. It was just the people you were with. Mm-hmm. It was not hitting up this person. Where's that guy? What do you call? No. It, and whoever like was now, hanging out, and if you showed up, you were with us hanging out, yeah. and that's it. Yeah, we you're there. present. And, and like you're just now, it's out. like, oh, who's hang out here, and why? Why isn't that? Uh, like. Like, yeah why isn't that person there oh i see that they're here on their snapchat like story, oh my god it's just this so person stupid. wasn't invited oh no we can't do this our cat is wait our cat just on the jumped table. on the table because <laughs> she's obsessed but with my mom she wants me. but like you know when you when you want to go somewhere and you feel sorry like not inviting someone for whatever reason and then you're like oh my god like no one posts that we're here like it's like so just stupid. so annoying something we should not have to deal with but um I'm going to give a tip to everyone watching. Obviously, my parents just don't use Snapchat, but I deleted my Snapchat. And it's the best thing ever. I log in like once a week, maybe just to see if like there's anything important on my phone, because like I like to look at the family group chat because I like to see the pictures of a baby. And then I just always get nervous if like my friends are dead or something. So I always go on there. Oh but like God, they Brittany. know to God. like wow. text me. But Still. Yeah, they know to text me if they die. So yeah, but like still, <laughs> but after I, they die, I feel like I dead. feel like more my age range compared to yours is like Snapchat. Like no, everyone I know is on Snapchat. No, but it's like source, but really, it doesn't really bother me. I grew no. up like I had Snapchat when it first started and you couldn't mm-hmm. even take a video you could only send a picture i think that's you when couldn't I even put too. text like it was so ugly it was so yeah, ugly. It was horrible. but it was the it, it's definitely the main source of communication for a lot of people mm-hmm. my age but yeah no, not for not, me i don't not really me. care i don't like that um all right mom what's the best and worst trait of each of your children <laughs> Whoa! And let's not get no, let's not roast too hard. Look at Brian, he's like, <laughs> he loves it. He wants to hear it. <laughs> Look, he's all he's eating this up. He's this all excited. Crazy. I'm glad that one. Uh, all right, let's start tough. oldest to youngest. So Brianna, her best trait. Her best trait. Well, I can only say one. Yeah, you can say more than one. Whatever you want. Um, she is very generous. Yes. Yeah, I can is. confirm. She is, <laughs> she's very loyal. Yeah. I can confirm. As a friend, <laughs> as can a confirm. <laughs> family member. Why are you laughing like that? She goes, because I'm like, can confirm. Can confirm that. Oh. Can confirm. Yeah. yeah. Um, Make sure you're talking close to the mic. She is like a personality trait type of thing. Yeah, whatever. Whatever you want to say, throw it out there. She's beautiful. Period. Yes, she is. She has really cute dimples. She has the best nose. She has ever. the best baby. She has the best. <laughs> she well, made. Well, I said a only one. Brian said we said one trait. We're at number nine. All right, so let's cap I it at have number a lot nine. Of good things to say about her. Let's cap it at number nine, and let's give only one bad trait. Moody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I would have to agree with that. Can uh, confirm. I, I was saying to myself in my head, she's trying to pick which one. To say. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, God, but that's so the worst. Spit out my water. <laughs> no, that's the number one. Yeah. All right, now for our second born, Brian, who's sitting over here, our engineer. Yeah. See his hand in the, in the video. Hand. Everyone watch the video version. Um, on YouTube. Best trait is he is 
sensitive, very sensitive. <laughs> so he, <laughs> he, um, what's the word I'm looking for? He sensitive to talking others. Talking to the mic. <laughs> he he relates to other people really he's, well. When he's he's um considerate. He's yeah empathetic yes, and understanding yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely he has a big heart he feels for people where yeah yeah i may not have such a big heart <laughs> where i lack in certain areas <laughs> what i said i'm blushing now. he said he's <laughs> blushing um he is we're all staring at dad taking a sip of that water because it was the a moonshine. fight oh this i'll get back to this yeah, yeah we had a whole fight continue, over the cup continue i was the only one on his side okay continue continue i was the only one on dad's side he is handsome. He also has really cute dimples. Mm-hmm. He he has the best dimples out of everyone. Yeah. He has real. Well, they all have really good teeth. I was gonna say he yeah. has really good teeth, but he they he. Oh, he's. Depending on what the situation is, he's could be very very patient. Yeah, but sometimes can confirm. <laughs> sometimes he could. I feel like really he's be really not patient, patient all the time. Me too. Well, it depends what it is. I feel like you're really patient all the time. Yeah. I feel like I have right? I feel like there's no situation. I don't know. Just like if you get frustrated with something easy. Yeah, like any <gasps> human, oh I my guess. God. My hiccups right. are acting up right now. Okay, so <laughs> let's cap it and let's hear <laughs> one bad trait of Brian's. Um, I, d- I don't really have one. Wow. <laughs> when you're is an angel messy? child. Messy? Nothing. Brian wants one. I want a, I want a bad trait. He wants a bad trait. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, I can think of one. I can think of one. <laughs> he, if I'm doing something with him, like this past week, we've been together nonstop because we are doing, doing some renovations in the house. He's acting as if <laughs> she's acting as if you guys are like building the <laughs> floors together. She's like, no, no, no we're, we're not doing because <laughs> we're not doing the renovations. We're having somebody do the res- renovations, <laughs> but the <laughs> but he he is got kicked out of his room, helping me put stuff back together. But the floor uh, floors are being redone, and his room was getting done, so you yeah. know he got kicked and out. And we of the painted room. the room together and all that stuff. So the one thing I could say about him is. If you give him directions to do something, he he's kind of really not listening. Like his dad. To you. You have to tell him a few times. Mm-hmm. I think I'm guilty of that sometimes. Guilty? Well, you're not. No, not really. No, Bra- Brandon's next. Brandon's next. Okay, now for the third born child, Brandon. He is our other brother. Let's hear it, Mom. Good qualities of Brandon. Good traits. Traits. That's what we're doing. Traits. Um... Oh, and you all have really good personalities. Thanks, girl. Um, you're welcome, girl. <laughs> um, Look at my hand. Right Brandon now. is handsome with l- long, luscious, beautiful hair. Yep, blonde. And um, blonde. beautiful teeth. <laughs> treats. <laughs> we need treats. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, well, I said that about everybody else. Okay, personal like personality traits. He. He is definitely can be really patient with some things and oh, some things yeah. really Impatient. not patient. Can I feel confirm. like it depends on his mood. It depends too. what and what the what's thing happening. Is. Yeah. Like I actually meant to ask him to do this, like untangling a necklace. Like I always he's, can be like, he's good. Oh, with that. he's the best with any. And kind he'll of actually knots. sit there for like three hours, and I'm like, I'm just, I, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. I'd rather throw the necklace in the very garbage. patient. I'm not doing that. So. But Dad, I need a new necklace. She'd rather do that. Mm-hmm. More yeah. definitely very patient, definitely can be very impatient at the same time. Yeah. 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 Depending on what the situation Like, he, he'll just be like, oh, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not even getting involved. <laughs> like, he won't yeah. if he knows, like, that it's not his thing. Yeah. Um, What else? Is Good traits about Brandon. Good. Um, He's also loyal and loving and very really caring what very hard 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 worker crazy hard worker coming from brian he said could i say something very knowledgeable everyone's smart here has their knowledge but just he has like this (laughs) knowledge of like anything and i try brian Brian does as well the both the boys are full of 
facts. No, not useless. I wouldn't say useless <laughs> at all. Like serious stuff that they literally know like, everything. Like if we if we have something going on in the house, we'll like ask the boys. <laughs> they know. Yeah. yeah. They know everything. And me and Brick are just sitting there like, uh, I have to go post on Instagram. <laughs> like, you know, that's not true. I don't know. I'm don't on my make phone. Make yourself sound dumb. <laughs> no, you so, the girls are definitely not dumb at all. All right, yeah, let's hear it. Bad One Brandon? bad trait of Brandon's. Anger. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But, but he I does, feel like... That, he doesn't do that to any of us. No, but as he gets older, I think it's that... getting better. better. He's definitely... He used to get... Dad used to call mad. him Lenny the Lunatic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he used to uh, get that mad was his really <laughs> fast. <laughs> Lenny the Lunatic. <laughs> but he would get mad really fast, really quick. Yep. And I feel like now, it's uh, as he gets older, it's not the same. Um. Okay, your fourth born child... Me, Brooke, Brooke. Oh, wait, we have another he guest here. Sure. Another cat <laughs> coming for me too. These cats, man. Oh, this is what happens when <laughs> my mom uh, gets on the here. podcast. He's gone. He's, he's, he got his fifteen seconds of fame. <laughs> um, he's out. Brooke is smart. Thanks, girl. And all the same things I said about can the confirm. Other, all the same <laughs> things I said about the other kids. Um. Patient. Depends on what we're I talking was gonna about. Say, mm. <laughs> I would say very compassionate. Very rarely impatient. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Yeah, rarely. I, I. Um, yeah, you care about other people. You care about other people's feelings. You're like for agreement. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um. But all the other kids are like that, yeah, too. Yeah, we're all like that. Brookie's extra. If you're not feeling good, I'll get a call from everybody. But Brookie will call you several times. Make sure. How are you feeling? You sure? Mm-hmm. Do you think you need to go to the doctor? Mm-hmm. Um, you have to stop eating like crap, you know. Mm-hmm. What are you going to do? What are we going to do when you die, Dad? I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I like to lay it out. I think yeah, Brooke is the most play. like that. Yeah. 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 Right? Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I am honest for sure. I like to get stuff done, you know? I like And none of my kids are liars, ever. No. Yeah, we don't tolerate mm-hmm. liars. Yeah. We don't like that at all. Um, I'm like, you can keep going on the good ones. <laughs> 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 One thing about Brooke is, like, I'll be in a bad mood, and she'll be like, sit down and think about why you're in a bad mood. I'm like, I'm just annoyed. Like, why do I need to give you an answer? And she's like, you just sound really stupid right now, and you need to get yourself together. I'm like, okay. Yeah, because... And then I'm just like, there's no reason to be in a mood. Absolutely. That was act- I just stumbled yeah, my words like no she other. She really lives in reality. Yeah. yeah. Right? Like... Yeah, like, if there, if I can see that there's a valid reason... I do this to you, too. Yeah. If there's a valid <laughs> reason for somebody to be upset, that's so fine. Feel your feelings. If you're mad for no reason, I'm going to be like, girls, what's wrong here? There's no reason to be upset. Like, to- yeah. everything's fine. We're all fine. Everything's good. Snap out of it. And then sometimes you need that. And sometimes you're just like, yeah, wait, yeah. Why mm-hmm. am I even mad right now? Yeah. But I only agree. in the right in this in the right situation. You can't say that if it's on a ba- really bad day. You know what I mean? All right. Bad traits. Bad trait. <laughs> Don't go hard. <laughs> You're really projecting. <laughs> um, bad trait. Um, <laughs> I, I think I only have one thing to say. Go ahead. <laughs> no, maybe, <laughs> maybe two. You could say two because I'm here. When, when you're in a bad mood, oh. Ooh. It's, <laughs> it's not pleasant. <laughs> But she'll make it known. Yeah. No, it's it, not. Pr- it's not. No, it's you not, just it's know. It's not even that you'll make like just like if she just like <laughs> co- if I hear her feet coming down the stairs the wrong way, I just know what kind of day is. I swear <laughs> my life. I swear my life. Well, no, but and she's always in a good mood. Yeah, but, but on like the occasion. that like one day a month. Oh, don't but even. But I'll let everyone air. know. I'm like, I'm not having it today. So yeah. This or is or she'll text me being like I'm going to kill someone and <laughs> 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 like like at like eight a.m. she'll be like I want to be dead I'm like day. okay <laughs> yeah I I like to let everyone know so they don't see me and go like holy shit what's wrong with this girl yeah. no Brookie will definitely announce when she's pissed off and mm-hmm. you know it and it's almost like 
you there's no talking to her no. you let her go through there, there you let her no go through the beginning back. of her anger ride it out uh-huh. and then be over because yeah. otherwise <laughs> it's like surfing <laughs> like a monster it kind of <laughs> is no it is it is absolutely no, it's true, it's and true. you let her be mad because she's not always, she's not the girl to say Get, enough's enough because she's never really mad but when she is there's yeah. a reason for it yeah and it for is sure. what it is for sure agreed cool. dad and what's yeah. your second one you said you had another one uh, the only other thing is, I think you're a little messy in the kitchen. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm in the kitchen the most, though. So maybe okay, but who you're else? Not. Who else is Shh. cleaning up in the sink and putting everything in the dish wa- dish? I'm not washer. saying she doesn't no clean one. up. I know what you meant, Mom. I'm not saying she doesn't. I don't know clean what up. you meant because I'm never outside of my room. I agree with you. I definitely pull my weight in the sink department. But, but Brianna I don't was sink, so I don't Brianna really was the to. best when it came to that. Sorry, okay. all of you. All right, well I try. Brianna yeah, Brianna's won. a good cleaner. No, she or? would always uh, do no, the no. Same stuff. No, Brianna makes a mess. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> she can make her messes. That should have been a bad trait. But if she had time and wasn't working, she would. Do the dishes. Do everything she needed to do for me in the oh. kitchen without being asked. Something that. Mm. I think what you mean is that I I'm a little bit of a crummy mess. I leave a lot of crumbs. Um, leave a trail. Yeah, leave yeah, a, a little, <laughs> little bit of a trail. It's not Just that like bad though. No, it's not that bad. A little bit of a trail, <laughs> and <laughs> you have no problem cooking and just leaving everything in no, the no, sink. No. Oh, in no. the sink? Yeah. Oh yeah. No, mm. not really. All the time. Yeah, really. Sometimes. All the time. <laughs> okay, whatever. You did ask the question, Brookie. You have all to the time. deal with that answer. I do. So- okay, sometimes I put it in the dishwasher. Heavy on the sum. I'll say this. if I, <laughs> I think I do. If I ever cooked, it's staying in the sink. I I'm really not, feel that I put I it in the dishwasher. I don't know dishwasher. how to clean a dish. I'd be on my best behavior over there. You're next. No, I, I'm not saying. I'm just saying to put it in the dishwasher. I don't even. Do I that. feel like I, I get really, really okay. have been doing that lately. I okay. really, even if it's my own plate, I can't touch it after I ate off of it. I don't know See, what I don't it care is, about and that. especially other people. I would rather lick the floors than wow. do the dishes for you. I literally oh, wow. say for I'll you. do yeah, anything. But you don't ever. You're not really ever cooking or anything. Yeah, but like yeah, if, I think. But like, if you ask and you're like, "Can you do the dishes?" I'm like, "No, I'm sorry, I'm not doing no, that." No, but you, Listen. but you'll empty. Yeah, I won't empty. <laughs> I I I'll empty if I have to. Oh, that's that that I should really. I load specify. it. Like I don't really know what where you're living, but I load who's, the dishwasher who's all the getting time. Getting pissed. <laughs> oh, I'm not that mad, one time. <laughs> but I I load the dishwasher. <laughs> we get to see Brooke get I'm mad not saying for the you first time. I think no. I think the reason Soak also in, that She's you say mad. that is because shut up, Dad. I think also the reason why I say that is because I'm the only one in the house that's, like, constantly cooking and stuff. So, like, of course my stuff's going to be in the sink if I don't clean it. Like, no one else is doing that. So yeah. that's why but my other, stuff's always in the, the sink. The other thing is that if the if the dishwasher is full but clean and she's making a mm-hmm. meal. No, that's it. That's the, it, it could stack to the ceiling. Yes. She doesn't. She's not <laughs> emptying that dishwasher to put those dirty dishes into it. No, but if it's empty, I'll have no problem put, putting the dirty ones in. What you think of no. you? No, you do, you do, that. but not all the time either. All right, Brittany's time to shine. Okay, mm-hmm. the wow. le- save the best for last. You okay, Brookie, mm-hmm. over there? Yeah, you're good, right? <laughs> I'll be okay. <laughs> Yo, I guess okay. I'll just put the. My the eyes are do the dishes shutting. More. I'm having long blinks. I snap so. out of it. Come on, let's yeah. do this, girl. Um, let's do this, girl. Good traits first. Mm-hmm. Uh, my fingers gushing blood everywhere. Why? That's fine. I just you was picked picking it? out my skin. I'm in the Look clouds at this right cat. Now. Okay, go. Good traits is the same as everybody else. You want a napkin? No, I'm fine. Um, I'll just use my sweatpants. <laughs> smart, beautiful, <laughs> all of those things. She is also. Now I'm gonna have a hiccup. She's also caring and loving. Not as much as the other kids, though. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I am. I just don't show it. Yeah. We yeah. used I a don't lot of like that up on the it. other kids. You know, we, we, I don't, we, we ran I'm low like when it came to that. her. You know? Like, I don't. I'm, I'm not going to be like, well, I don't know how to explain it. I'm, I'm just, I don't like to show that. It's weird. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I show it in different ways. That that's what I was trying to say. 
you are respectful usually <laughs> that's usually. right what is that <laughs> with all of us don't don't usually it was funny don't you think with all no of us? she absolutely is i just thought that usually it was funny that's all yeah. can confirm she's okay. respectful um loyal mm-hmm. that's right can confirm you're a loyal f- family member and friend mm-hmm. i think mm-hmm. yeah and girlfriend i i can confirm that i'm a very loyal girlfriend um <laughs> what else do you have anything to say or you're always talking yeah i'm gonna i'm uh, um this is your time to shine because if okay, i then let's hear out, let's hear forever. one uh bad trait Okay. Go ahead. Um, a Britney's bad trait. Highly emotional. <laughs> That's Attitude. Not a bad trait. I would say. Attitude. Whoa. Well, look see? at the way she answered <laughs> wow. that. I never give you an attitude. I don't even want to hear it. No, Brittany, no, no. I didn't say it was towards me. She's giving an attitude. That I've ever no. <laughs> my, like, the most right? contradicting no. conversation. No, no, no. I didn't say it was towards me. You have an attitude, and that's factual. I can confirm. <laughs> Could I give a bad trait of hers? Yeah, go. Impatient. Oh, yes. oh, that yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> to the tenth that's power. the number Switch one. Switch it out. Yeah, that's yeah. the number but one. But what I was gonna say is, I'm only mean if you're mean first, because I do right, not right. tolerate. It's not that you're actually no, because you sometimes are disrespectful when you're in a bad mood. So I, I that that's something that like. I'm not disrespectful no, to you on no. purpose. No, 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 no. But like, if you catch her at the wrong minute, no. But like, it's not that you're like, oh, I'm going to say something so mean to her that she <laughs> cries all night. But like, it just like <laughs> oh slips God. out. Lord. Brittany's and that, highly emotional. That really so annoys me. That's what happens. All right. All right how, how much longer do we have? Uh, We're 30 minutes in. All right. Uh-uh. What are your rules about boyfriends oh brian has a fire uh rapid, rapid fire, fire question rapid fire. um he was just looking back to me yeah three good things about dad one bad thing about dad <gasps> okay three good things about dad one bad thing about dad. i bet you wish it was the opposite let's say a lot easy for let's you, say three <laughs> go ahead uh three good Only things three. go quick okay quick. um hard worker mm-hmm. can confirm trustworthy can confirm. <laughs> That's two. Loyal. Dad's That's three. three. Very trust trustworthy. No one bad. Wait, generous? No. He's like you can wait, add five. Generous. Yeah. Why not five? <laughs> That's four. That's one more. Come on, five. spit it out. All right, go ahead. Rapid fire. One more. One or bad. One bad. Go with um, the bad. Oh my god. This cat has to be kidding. Just She's fine. Her. This is rapid fire, mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One bad. Um. This is rapid. Listen, yeah, I think is, I, I think I you know. can go with the doesn't listen to directions very yeah. well. Yeah, I could go with a lot, but okay. I'm trying to. You know pick what it like is? She's got so many. You know when you're, you're looking for like a hat you want to <laughs> wear, and there's like 40 of them. <laughs> you know, and you're digging around. That's what's going on right <laughs> what now. What are yours about me? Oh, yeah, yeah, go. There is no bad. Three Everything's good. good. Three good. Three, Three good, Three good, loyal, um, beautiful. Can confirm. Respectful. <laughs> um, That's three. Can no, confirm. I can't give any more. You no. can do more. <laughs> Just one more. Go ahead. Um, very loving. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bad. My My next question. Bad? He said he didn't um, want to. Um... I could give. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's a, what are you laughing at over there, man? I'm trying to be People very serious. It's a very serious <laughs> yeah. podcast right now. It's a Mooney thing, guys. Um, I would say <laughs> it's not bad, <laughs> but it, it's not a bad thing because I needed it. What? Keeping on top of me with. In, uh, I hate to say like training me like to, just to do <laughs> things right. In other words, like, like, listen, I, I'm guilty. I still wear my shoes in the house. She's like it's, constructive. Is yeah, that? yeah, exactly. Like I put you your stuff controlling. Here. No, no, yeah. oh no, no. Like put, don't leave that over here. Um, it just he, she she's on top. I needed, yeah. I needed to be needed. Um, what's that? 
oh, oh, I still need, I still need to be kept <laughs> in that. But I feel like when you guys, at least like when I, and actually not even when I was younger, just like stories you guys would tell me, like you had to like mold him into like the person he is now. And like, I don't think he would be like how he is now if it wasn't for you. No, he wouldn't. Behind every That's strong man is no, an no, even stronger thousand, woman. Listen to me. <laughs> exactly what you said is a thousand percent it's true. true. No, that's, yeah, that's a I, fact. I agree. That's okay. a fact. Girls, my rule next rule. question. What are her rules about boyfriends? Um. Well, they all started dating at 15. Mm-hmm. And I, I didn't really come up with so many crazy rules, I don't think. No, you didn't. It was just like, but let me know your, where you are. Yeah. Let me know what you're doing. Keep Which is like kind of the same thing with friends too. Just like yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep me in the loop and just tell you me where are you are. Real Brittany is really good with that. Yeah, I am. Every um, where, every when she goes out, everywhere she goes, she yeah. texts me. I'm here. We're gonna we'll be leaving. We're going here. We're going here. We're going here. Well, listen. In the beginning of my relationship, at least I think Brittany's too. Definitely Brianna's. You would always make sure that like when we first started dating, we were young. You would make our but keep but our doors open yeah yeah but yeah, also like dating doesn't mean like going out with different guys they all no, had the same yeah guy. 15 one, years so like yeah, brianna like one was boyfriend with in a somebody for six, six and years, and a half years yeah. you're with paul, paul for six. six years mine's you're like two years pretty much like yeah like on three. and off yeah. yeah but um yeah so let me know what you're doing that's it literally it. Doors like. open if you're hanging out in the house. Well, like not now because like we're all we've all been dating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boyfriends. For um, me. you got the best of the boyfriend, don't you think? Yeah, Brittany she got did. the best of the boyfriend. I also like helped her with that. I was like, just, oh yeah, just let her sleep there. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it it. It, it happened because everyone had COVID. It happened because it happened because of COVID. There was no, mm-hmm. I, I couldn't say no. Stay here and infect yeah, yourself. Yeah, everyone in the house had COVID except me oh, and Brittany. It was crazy. So my mom left. Also, Mar- I Brittany feel like it was house. still different because I we were on and off for like two years prior to us like, yeah, being to like. It's not like you just started dating. Yeah, when that happened. yeah, yeah. It's no, not I not like I was with him that. for a month and I was like, oh, I'm going to sleep. Like, no, it yeah. was like, and also I've known him since I was. 12 like it's yeah. not like he's like a weirdo that i don't know yeah yeah <laughs> all right next question what is it like being a mom now it says two youtubers but you really do have three or four, four. Mm-hmm. youtuber children but let's just say for me and Brittany, because we're we here right are now. the hosts what is it like <laughs> being the mom of two youtubers <coughs> What are the good, the bad, the struggles, the really fun Really quick, things? my feet are in a really hot but cold sweat. Ew, Wait, I hate that. is that making sense? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Not to me, but anyway. Um, the good thing is... Dad, you can answer this as well. The good thing is they... Oh, bad trait about dad talks too much. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> okay, have continue, I not been continue. quiet? Yeah, you've been no, very quiet. Been. My lips are no, probably but I don't bleeding mean right inside. Now. I'm oh fighting with because I love to talk. You I guys don't know I mean love to talk. right now, but in general, I really the other don't night, were you so not much. trying to get out of here and he was chewing Paul's ear off? Yeah, but I just wanted to leave. I wasn't in the conversation, so it didn't I know. What were we even talking about? Me Whatever. Okay. okay, yeah, okay. we're getting really <laughs> sidetracked. Oh, yeah, that's another story. I lost track of. Really, the oh, struggles YouTubers. and the good thing about the good me things and about it. The good thing about it is that it's their job and they make money and they they are self sufficient, money wise, financially. Mm-hmm. Um, Especially at a young age, I feel like that's yeah a good thing. And also, I think it's really cute when we go places and people recognize them. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. The good thing is I don't have to buy any clothes because they get them all. <laughs> um, Shout out Princess Polly and White Fox. We had a little okay. technical difficulty because of that little cat, cat summer. <laughs> but we're back. We were talking about um the, the, bad, the bad, good, the bad, and the ugly of you. You said yeah. you don't and like when people leave hate comments. Yeah, That's like that, that part bothers me because I don't want them leaving like, not, not that I can control it, but. 
I don't want them leaving stuff about the way rude mean comments about the way you look or your body or I don't want that to get to our heads yeah I don't think it does but no I feel like we I both don't, just like don't yeah really but I don't care. That's, but also that's the one you, thing I really worry about if you catch me on a bad day it, it bothers me but you guys you guys are super confident I yeah. think that would be the only bad thing yeah I, I could think of yeah and listen it's a lot of work and it's I could I could let you know myself the minute you slow down the minute you maybe post a little bit less or maybe you want to take a break for a week a week and a half the numbers go down 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 and I'm talking about views and I'm talking about you know getting recommended and all that stuff and you just your stuff's not popping yeah, and sometimes up sometimes they get really stressed out it's every yeah, like it's once stre- a month stressful. I'll have like a manic episode where I'm just <laughs> not okay no manic is up <laughs> no it's not Manic is manic. Like going crazy. Like manic is up, okay. Like well, anxiety, I'm going crazy depression. in the worst way. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I get what you're saying. I under- I get what you're saying. I think Dad, I know what you mean. What do you think the good? What are the good and the bad for you raising two kids that are on YouTube? I mean, I three kids. Yeah, three actually. I support you guys. I love it. I think it's great. I I think it's. I know you guys have what it takes. If I didn't think you have what it took, I wouldn't have suggested and say hey yeah, why don't you and do like this? because you know it. and and that goes for all you guys watching that you younger kids not I don't, you know young ladies and young men that maybe want to do the same thing one day that i say why not you if there's another person who's got a great following and is, is given a positive message and you guys could do the same thing mm-hmm. and i always felt like that even with myself yeah, in life and business I, I never was envious of everyone or jealous that's not the way I look at it. I look at it as, wow, that guy's awesome. If he could do it, I could do it. If that girl could do it, you guys could do it. Not not be better than them and knock them out, you know, but it's... Also, there's room for everyone on YouTube. Of course there's like room it, for everyone. Yeah. And I always... I, and I think it's a good thing. I sometimes feel bad when the growth rate slows down and maybe the views aren't so hot, but I think that they're doing it long enough that they know that it's not always great and it's not always mm-hmm. uh you know a, uphill a, uphill yeah. it's it's uphill it's 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 you're never you're never coasting and even if I, I bet you if you spoke to people that had millions of subscribers it's it's not oh it's not like fun and easy all the time no, yes it's absolutely fun not. it's always a struggle it's always a grind yeah, but it's always but worth it it's worth it in the end and in life isn't everything a grind yeah. It's just the way it is. and Okay, our last question. No. Oh, I was going to say no more questions. Our last question for mom. Well, my last question for mom is overall, what is it like raising five young adults at once? Hard. <laughs> yeah. Do really, you, you really You think it's hard. gotten harder now? Than when you were little? Yeah. Yes. Or is this is this the hardest stage of all? Yes. How? Yeah, it is. Pete, when 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 all you guys were little, I had the first three kids in three years, and that was hard. That was hard. I had three babies, and and then shortly after you c- you know you came, and then shortly after she came, and then. It was hard. I had five young kids. I had five kids in 10 years. Yeah. And people would say, they would see me in the mall or the park or wherever and say, oh, enjoy this. You know, this it, it goes fast. Um, like little kids, little problems, big kids, big problems. And I'd be like, okay. <laughs> yeah, you didn't know what was yeah, coming. Yeah, like you don't understand that when you're going through it because you have all these sleepless nights and you're at the doctor three times a week because th- there's always a kid sick and uh, you, you really know, have your hands full in the department of taking yeah, care of who's people. Yeah, who's getting stitches, who needs stitches out, who has a broken arm, who, you know, ju- it's just always something. And then the whole sports thing with you guys with gymnastics yeah we were all like elite athletes like we took it to the extreme yeah and then the boys with mma 
driving from one side of the island to the other and it, it was it was insane I, I i had to fill up my car about every two days yeah we went through tires like it was going out of style <laughs> it was <laughs> it was crazy crazy yes yeah, crazy crazy Brian said crazy you were ubering before it existed now in in a lot of the ways all that has calmed down because you all drive i mean Brittany just has not even a month left um but you all drive so I, i'm not traipsing kids around all over the place and the girls have no more sports the boys still have M- mma but they drive and but other things get really really hard like you worry about driving i mean every time you worry you worry about very sensitive too that's that's probably where i get it from really sensitive (laughs) worry about (laughs) driving and getting into accidents and their mental health and it's emotionally way more oh terrible as you can tell (laughs) yeah very it's really 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 hard big like the people used to tell me, way bigger things to worry about. When you're little, you're worrying about them getting sick and getting germs on their hands and putting their hands in their yeah. mouth. And, you know, you're just, the, you're just and busy. And we're, we're by your side, right? You're now, I was just going to say, I had everyone control was here. over everybody. Yeah. I, had, I, I knew what everybody was doing, what everybody needed to do. I was now, you know, you're n- not, not in control anymore. And... It's, it's much harder. Yeah, you, cu- you you gave us the tools, and now you're just watching us. Hope that everything works out. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess we'll wrap it up there. <laughs> <laughs> With the tears, With tears, and everything. Thank you, mom, for coming on. Thank you. Yes, for welcome. welcome to the podcast. That, this was an pod. awesome episode. What? What's that? Yeah, welcome. Oh, yeah, welcome. I know I should say it at the beginning. Guys, I can let, say it let's right wrap now, this up because I have a hot date. Wow. wow. And he's outside. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm being really serious. When is he going to be on? And when is Brandon going to be on? When, whenever. They Brandon can yeah. come on next week. We got yeah. him. We want to have Graham, too. I've been saying and that Graham. in every oh, yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, this is the end of Thank podcast number four. Watching. I love you guys. Everyone at well, this table, I love you guys. <laughs> and listen, bye, thank that's you. it, bye. man. Very, very good episode. Bye you bye, can bye, listen bye. to us on, you. well, you can watch us on YouTube. You can listen to us on Spotify and Apple Music and I don't know. Yeah, we finally else. figured it out. And thank you guys. Did the first one come out yet? No. Not yet. <laughs> but I want to thank you guys. And I mean all you guys that watch, all the subscribers, all... You guys helped us get this set up because we had a big problem. And one of the subscribers, do you remember? Who no, it was a exactly? lot of my subscribers. A lot of them. Suggested that we use the app Anchor. And I got it all figured out today. And we're going to start was, using Anchor now. We were going bananas for a like week, four, a week and a half. No, it's been like four weeks. Has it been four weeks? Up, a long right? time. And then, boom, boom, boom. Me and Brooke were by ourselves today. Everybody kind of went out and we were together. And I'm like, let's just do this. And she sat down. And we went back and forth, and bang, she figured it out. And we are going all the way, folks. Peace out, everybody. Thank you, guys. Love you guys.